where a bomb has targeted a mosque in the Afghan capital of Kabul, leaving at least 12 dead and 30 injured. Now, the bomb targeted the Ediga Mosque, which is the second largest mosque in Kabul. The attack came at a time when a memorial service was being held for the mother of the Taliban spokesperson Zabiullah Mujahid. This is the first deadly attack to take place in the Afghan capital since the American troops left the country. As of now, three people have been arrested near the blast site. However, no one has immediately claimed responsibility for the attack. This is not the first time that bomb attacks and explosions have marred the conflict-torn Afghanistan. Earlier, ISIS-K claimed responsibility for an attack that killed eight people, including four Taliban members. Now, the attack, which took place on the 18th of September, reportedly targeted a Taliban vehicle in the Afghan city of Jalalabad in Nangarhar province. Since the Taliban takeover, Kabul on multiple occasions has been rocked by bomb attacks. On the 16th of September, five rockets were fired at Chantala power station in Kabul's neighborhood, with two of them hitting the nearby residential areas. However, this time, no casualties were reported. Now, these attacks came two weeks after a massive bomb blast took place at the Kabul airport on the 26th of August amid hassle chaotic evacuation process. A suicide bombing took place at the Hamid Karzai International Airport, which claimed more than 170 lives, including that of 13 U.S. soldiers. The Islamic State Khorasan province has claimed responsibility for the deadly attack. Now we are being joined live by Anas Malik, our correspondent from Kabul. Thank you very much for being with us, Anas. Now, 12 people have been killed and over 30 injured, as per reports coming in from Kabul, where the blast has rocked the mosque. What are the latest details that you have for us? Absolutely, Alison. A deadly, deadly blast here in Kabul, the first of its kind that, target, that uh, targeted the Taliban leadership uh, here in Kabul. As Zabiullah Mujahid, the spokesperson of the Afghan Taliban, was holding prayers uh, for uh, uh, his uh, late mother at Eidgah Mosque, Kabul's second biggest mosque. Now, sources at the hospital and within the security establishment here in Kabul are confirming that at least 32 people are now uh, uh, injured and at least 12 people are have been killed in these uh, in this blast the nature of it is still unknown it took place at the entrance of the Eidgah mosque the Eidgah mosque where the uh, where the, uh, 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 the the prayers for Zabila Mujahid's late mother were, were being held now I was there uh, just moments before the blast took place uh, the blast was followed by heavy gunfire it had uh, uh, the, uh, the, the entrance is the exit as well. It was the same entrance that was being used by, for exit purposes. It had a huge number of security personnel present, both from the Taliban and uh, in, in plain clothesmen as well. Uh, they were thoroughly checking people. Uh, uh, if I talk to you about who was inside, well, at least when I was inside, I saw Shahabuddin Dilawa walking in, a key prominent leader of the Afghan Taliban from the Doha office. Uh, there were other Taliban members who were present inside at the time of the blast. It is still unclear whether Shahabuddin Dilawa was there or not. Uh, but uh, the blast took place at the entrance of the Eidgah Masjid, of the Eidgah Mosque. And uh, from, the point, uh, from the point of the blast where the blast took place, about 200 meters beyond is where uh, the, uh, uh, the, the prayers were being held for Zabila Mujahid's mother. Uh, so this is the first of its kind blast that has targeted. Remember, uh, ISK is, a, is an existential threat to the Taliban. It has strongholds here in Kabul and in Nangarhar. They have been targeting the Taliban in Nangarhar. But this is the first of its kind attack here uh, in the capital city of Kabul. Additionally, if I talk to you through, uh, the bigger problem uh, for the Taliban now would be to get normalcy back in the city because Taliban's USP or the unique, unique selling uh, point has been that they have ensured security following their takeover of the capital city. But this incident, this particular incident that took place hours back, not very far from where I am. It was heard uh, until here, uh, where, where I was. I heard it very, very clearly. This would get the alarm bells ringing and that sense of insecurity within the people, that sense of an uneasy calm would return back into the residents of Kabul. Alison? 
Right, Janas. Now, what is the significance of this attack, considering that its target was the mosque where the Taliban spokesperson uh, was holding the memorial for his mother? And have we had any, uh, has anyone cl made a claim on this attack yet? Well, the target was very, very clear. It was a Taliban leadership. It took place outside the Eidgah Mosque, where uh, the, 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 few, uh, the prayers were being held for Zabila Mujahid's mother. So the Taliban leadership was inside. There were leaders. There were leaders because this, uh, these prayers were to be held from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. As I said, I, w I was there just minutes before the blast. I had come back. Uh, and there were leadership. That, there were leaders who were coming in paying their respect and then heading back. So it was a constant process. It is still unclear whether any prominent leader at the time of the blast were, were present there or not. But one thing that is very clear, that the, that, the, that the target was indeed the Taliban leadership. Now, as we speak, there is no formal claim by any organization as yet. However, this uh, looks like a classical modus operandi of the ISK. As I said, the ISK is an existential threat. Uh, in an interview, uh, in multiple interviews to, in fact, Arabic TV channels, uh, uh, Zabiullah Mujahid, the Taliban spokesperson, has claimed that they have been uh, trying to carry out operations. Just two days back, there was a, there was a major operation against the IS here in Kabul, in Kabul's uh, Khairkhana area. And at least eight people were arrested who were allegedly from the IS. Uh, day before yesterday, we also saw uh, an IS attack in Charikar in Parwan province, not from not far from the Kabul, uh, from Kabul uh, city as well, uh, where at least four people were said to have been killed. Yesterday, we saw an attack uh, where at least uh, in Jalalabad, in Dangarhar, in the east where at least four people were again said to be killed two of them being the taliban so there has been a pattern of the isk attacks against the taliban but uh, striking in the heart of the uh, the country and striking in the capital city that's the first of its kind alison right now thank you very much for bringing us all the latest details there we are now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move